What's up guys, Adam Sachs of Guy in a Cube. Let's dig into some stuff that I thought was interesting that you might like to know about. First up is a blog post from Mike Cole over at Power BI Tips and Tricks, and he looks at how to use parameters to enable sharing with other people. And the example that he uses is he has a Power BI desktop file that uses a file share to grab some files. And he shares that PBIX out with other people, and they didn't want to go in and edit the actual M query that's used to grab the data. And so he created a parameter so people could just set the path to where the files are on their machine, and then everything works as normal. So be sure to check out this blog post. He goes through how to use parameters to accomplish this. And I've seen this used in a couple other ways as well, but I thought this was a great example of how you can actually use this with other people in your organization or other folks that you're sharing that Power BI desktop file with. So be sure to check it out. Devin Knight from Pragmatic Works has a blog post where he looks at the Gantt chart custom visual for Power BI. And what's more interesting than just this specific blog post is the overall series he's had for custom visuals in Power BI. This is, he's calling them modules, and this is module 43. So he's looked at 43 custom visuals. He has a video and an associated write-up for each one, and he looks at how do you get them, how do you use them, and, and really how to take advantage of those custom visuals to their full potential. So I highly suggest you go look at these if there's a custom visual you've been interested in. He's probably already talked about it or he will talk about it soon. So be sure to take a look and see if you find them useful for your reports that you're creating. Reza Rad over at Radicad has a blog post talking about DAX and specifically the difference between if and filter. He looks at why the results of this may seem similar, but they're really different. And he has some good examples to illustrate that fact. What I really like about this blog post is the underlying concept of filter context or evaluation context. I think the examples that Reza uses are really good examples of how this works and interacts and can really change the results from what you may expect is happening. If you really want to understand DAX, the concept in this blog post is what you need to understand. And there are a lot of references and other items out there that will go through filter context and evaluation context specifically. I'll have some extra links down in the description below that you can go take a look at as well to try and wrap your head around this concept. There was a new feature released for the Power BI service called Schedule Cache Refresh. This feature is specific to direct query and live connections inside of Power BI. So if you're using imported data sets, this doesn't apply to you. But if you're using direct query or live connections, if you weren't aware, one thing we do is we do cache some data for the visuals of the thumbnails on your dashboard. We don't cache data for anything else, but the tiles on your dashboard is something we do cache. And this feature allows you to control the update behavior of the tiles on your dashboard. This setting is defaulted to an hour. So every hour it will go out and query your backend data source to get updated data to refresh the tiles on your dashboard. You can control that and go down to 15 minutes if you want to, which will incur more frequent hits on your data source to update those items. So if this is something you're using and something you really want to control or fine tune in your environment, be sure to check out this blog post, which walks through how you can go do that. The settings are based on the data set itself. So you can go find those settings there. Custom visuals are moving. That's right. They're moving from the visual gallery that we had over at visuals.powerbi.com over to the office store. So what does this mean? It means that you're actually going to go to the office store to actually get download and use custom visuals inside of your Power BI desktop file or within the Power BI service. The flow itself right now is still the same. You're going to download the PBI viz file. There'll be a sample PBIX for you. One of the things this really enables is the ability for bigger exposure to the office community. So you can just search for those inside of the office store. All of the visuals are still free right now, and it allows you as an end user or consumer to provide ratings and comments on those items. Not all of the visuals have been moved over yet, so they're still working on getting those over. It should be soon. And the old visual gallery is still available until all of those visuals are moved over. So you can still go to visuals.powerbi.com to get those, but at some point, the visuals.powerbi.com, the visual gallery is gonna go away and the office store is gonna be what you use. 
For the folks that are creating custom visuals, be sure to check out the documentation. There's some new steps for you in terms of how to submit your custom visuals to the Office Store. So go check that out, get your visuals updated and get them submitted to the new Office Store format. And for the consumers, of custom visuals, you can go to the Office Store. There's categories for you to help you discover which custom visuals are available for what you're looking for. And for both pieces of this, there is documentation linked to in this blog post that you can go to to find out all of the information you need to know. Okay, which item was your favorite or did you learn something new? Go ahead and leave that down in the comments below and let me know. Are you gonna head over to the Office Store to look at the custom visuals? If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if it's your first time here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for more great content from both Patrick and myself. And as always, thank you so much for watching and keep being awesome.